Hi there, Sue Grant. I'm going to show you how to do some water coloring today. I'm going to use the Stampin' Up! markers and Stampin' Up! ink pads to show you a couple of different ways. And Stampin' Up! shimmering white paper. I'm going to give you an alternative if you don't have the shimmering white paper to what you can use. And uh, this is a sample of one of the cards we're going to make. And let's get started. We're going to use this butterfly, and it's a Stampin' Up! butterfly. I'm just going to show you the case. This looks called Swallowtail. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of Stampin' Up! shimmery white cardstock, and I'm not sure if it's going to actually show you how beautifully shimmery it is, but we'll see. So we're going to put the cardstock where we get a nice covering of that butterfly. We're going to hold it down with these magnets that come with the Stamparatus. And I just find it's a little easier to get the magnets off if you put some uh, washi tape on. And you want to secure it where the butterfly isn't. So I've pre-cut three colors that we're going to work on. Uh, so we're going to do a blue butterfly, a burgundy reddish butterfly, and a purple butterfly. And then we're going to use the three different techniques. So this is the butterfly stamped, doing no techniques. Just, it's quite beautiful by itself, but I'll show you what to do with it. So we're going to color the middle of the butterfly with the fat end of the marker. We're just coloring the middle portion of the butterfly. So then we're going to take a darker purple and we're going to work our way out. And we're just using the side of the markers. You get more coverage that way. And there's no wrong way to color this butterfly. So I'm just starting coming out with the darker color. And then we're going to go to a different color of purple. And because we're using the Stamparatus, if we don't get the color that we quite want, we're able to go over it again. So don't worry too much about not being perfect. And we are doing watercolor, so we are going to spritz this with some water. So it is going to take blend those colors in a bit better. So like I said, I wouldn't worry too much about getting it perfect. So I think I'm going to use three colors on this one. You can use as many as you want. And like I said, we're going to spritz it so it doesn't matter. It's not quite perfect, we can come back and fix it. So I just use a plain bottle and add water to it. So we're going to spritz it. We want to spritz it pretty good. And then we're going to bring it down and on the paper. I'll push down. Now the shimmery white paper is a bit thicker, so it takes the water a bit better. If you don't have the shimmery white paper, you can use Stampin' Up's thicker cardstock and spritz it with shimmer. So see how beautiful that came? So we don't even need to alter that. That is just spot on perfect. So it's kind of 
I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but that'll dry and it's perfect. Beautiful butterfly. So we're just going to put that on the pre pre cut um, cardstock. So the outer edge is five, sorry, the shimmery white is five by three quarters. Then that darker purple is five and a quarter by four, and the lighter purple is five and a half by four and a quarter. So once you put that on the different layers of purple, it's quite cool. So we'll finish dressing that up once it's dry. And we'll work on another color. So when I was saying, if you don't have the shimmery white paper, uh, if you use Stampin' Up! thicker cardstock, white cardstock, and you go to your local Shoppers Drug Mart and buy a bottle of Finesse, it has a ball in it, I don't know if you can hear it, and add one of these cool bottles of frosted white, or you can do the gold. You get the same technique on white paper. I'm just going to spritz a piece here so you can see. So once it dries, because it's alcohol, you don't see those spots, you just see the shimmery white. And that's what I did on this butterfly, because I tried it with and without the shimmery white. So it's pretty cool how it turns out. Just take that out of the package quickly so you can see. If you can see the glitter on the side. So that's just you thick cardstock with the shimmery white added to finesse. All right, so now we'll do uh, blue. So we're just going to clean that butterfly off. You don't have to clean it perfect because some of the leftover color actually turns out pretty cool in the next, like if you have leftover for the next card stamp. So we'll put our shimmery white down. to get those magnets so that they're not in the way. So this time I'm going to use an ink pad and I'm going to ink up the butterfly. And then I'm going to come in and color that middle stem with a marker. So I'm going to just use one of Stampin' Up's new um, cleaning products for their stamps, which is pretty cool. I'm going to clean out the vein of that butterfly. And then I'm going to color it brown. I'm going to use some of the Midnight Muse stamp. Uh, just to add some color to it. And with this, I'm going to use a finger dauber and we're going to add some color to the inside of the butterfly. So we're using the ink pads, we're using the markers, we're using all sorts of different tricks. And we're just going to vein some of this in here. And there's no right or wrong way to do this butterfly because it doesn't matter how you stamp it, it turns out quite cool. I'm going to take the water to it and then over. And the beauty of using, oops, sorry, I'm making the camera waddle, I'm pushing too hard. Uh, the beauty of, beauty of mute, using the Stamper Up apparatus is if you don't get so over here, it looks like I kind of could have used a little bit more color. So I'm going to come back in with the ink pad and add some ink. So like I said, that's the beauty of using the Stamparatus, is if you don't get the color that you want, you can just add some. So I'm just going to add a little bit more using the ink pad. Come 
come down again. A little bit of pressure. And voila. Now I'd like to put a little bit of more contrast on this one. So I'm going to, because this shimmery white paper takes pretty good um, water to it, I'm just going to add a little more color. So using the finger, finger dauber, I'm going to add some contrast. You want some veins in it, like butterflies aren't perfect, they're not all one color. So I'm just going to add a little bit more color to the butterfly. Yeah. And we don't want to leave that solid. Oops. I'm going to give it a little spritz. And back down. There, perfect. I don't know if you can really appreciate how cool that turns out. And the different colors that are on there. So once that's dry, we'll finish putting that one together. And then we're going to do one more in like reds and pinks. Take some of that color out of there. Okay, so let's do a little bit of ink pad and markers. So we're going to ink it this up. the center of that butterfly in brown. Using the markers, let's go in and just add a little bit of darker colors in there. Keeping in mind we're going to spritz it, spritz it with some water so it doesn't have to be perfect. spritz. Oh, come in handy if I put paper down. So we've missed a little bit here, but I love how the colors came out. I hope you can appreciate the colors on the camera. There. Beautiful. One thing with the Stamparatus, never let those two markers touch each other. It'll be, you'll never get them apart. I don't know if you can see the shimmer of that. I think it turned out pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to finish putting these cards together. So it looks like the purple one's dry. So like I said, the shimmery card stock is five by three and three quarters. The darker purple I did five and a quarter by four and the lighter purple five and a half by four and a quarter. So I just put those together so we could put this together quickly on camera. 
So I'm going to just put some adhesive on. And it didn't take long to dry. And then we're just going to square that up. Perfect. So I cut out some sayings that I thought we could use on these cards. And I did a couple of insides. So you can either stamp a word. So I stamped words and then I cut out little pieces of vellum to put behind it so that you can put a wonderful mother. Or you could use silver wonderful mother. Or we could make it a thank you card. But I think we'll do this one. And to cut out those rectangles, I use Stampin' Up's uh, rectangles stitchlet dies, right? Rectangle stitch framelits, sorry. Um, I used these also for this card here. So you had that stitch framelit on the outside of the cards. So for this one, I'm just gonna. on here. I just don't really want to cover up that butterfly too much because it's so pretty. That's why I'm using the vellum, but I wanted it to have a little bit of pop as well. mother. I hope you can appreciate that sparkle and everything. And you can always jazz it up by adding some rhinestones to it. I always find a little bit of glitter and bling just makes it perfect. So there's some bling on that one. And that's it without bling. So let's just add a couple of, let me add a couple of pearls to this one. Stampin' Up! has pretty cool pearls and sequins. Just a couple of pearls. Doesn't take much to dress it up because this paper is so beautiful. Oh, and don't forget the inside of the card. Golly gee, I almost forgot the inside. So I pre-stamped a couple of card insides. Oops, that one's too big. And... There we go. So put a saying and then stamp that butterfly off and there you go. It's beautiful. All right, so let's do the blue one. So there's the blue one again. I think the blue one, what we'll do is, so I'm using some snail adhesive on there. So we'll square up the blue. And I think maybe we'll put the Mother's Day one on this one. Just love how that turned out, the, the blue glitter. And then once again, the inside always has to have something to complete it. And then we have the red. So we we'll here the red. did a, the outer edge of this red I cut a happy mother's day but you could also use a thank you or a saying so there's the three cards all shimmery white cardstock used in those three. This one here 
I used the hairsprays technique. I don't know if you can see it, but let's hope you can. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, feel free to um, email me at suzyhomemaker35 at yahoo.com. I uh, have a Stampin' Up! website if you feel like browsing through some of the, my ideas on my website. And have a great day.